Increasingly dire outlooks from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change have provoked consultant engineer Larry Narraway to re-evaluate travel and transport from his Hobart home. Hello, I'm Rose Grant, here on Littoral Witter Aboriginal land, acknowledging the Palawa people, their elders past and present. I've come to hear how Larry's work in Western Australia's oil and gas industry has forced him to really think about the implications of fossil fuels and choose better alternatives including this fully electric Hyundai Ionic. I was working in the oil and gas industry for the last decade and a bit and I was also the driver of a very very large engine Holden which was great for the hobbies I was doing at the time but I was also getting increasingly aware of the nature of climate change and the way emissions are changing the world and when we bought this place in Tasmania one of the first things we did was to put in solar and we missed the high feed-in tariff we were perfectly cheerful about that what we wanted to be doing was actually making sure we actually cut down our energy usage so this isn't a purely economic decision for you uh, we know that the solar paid for itself uh, or will pay for itself over time for the car it's not the car was an ethical choice we wanted to have a car that would allow us to be able to do some travel in a uh, relatively green way. We still understand the embodied energy issues, but we're very, very happy to have switched to a zero emissions vehicle. And it also works incredibly well for the life we lead because we do work from home. That said, the charging infrastructure is also very, very easy. So how do you manage charging? Okay, so we've got a 40 kilowatt hour battery in the car. We've got a five kilowatt hour solar system. So the house is energy neutral we generate more than we actually use. Larry, do you use a charge management system? We do, because the car can charge from our charger over there at something like seven kilowatts. Uh, if we charged at full rate, we would be drawing down power from the grid every time we charge. So what we've done is we've derated both our charger and we can control charging rate from the car. We charge relatively slowly. So if we're doing a moderately full charge, it'll take about 10 hours. We have our charging set up to run between 9.30 and 2.30, and we turn it on by looking out and saying, if it's sunny, we plug the car in, and if it's not, we don't. That is probably about 80 to 90% effective. So on a grey old day like this? No charging. The Mark I eyeball is a wonderful thing. So we, we know on a day like this, we're probably generating somewhere between 500 watts to one and a half kilowatt. So that's covering part but not all of the house's usage but then a su sunny day comes along and we'll generate five to seven kilowatt hours no trouble at all and we can probably put two to three of that into the car. What have you learned or discovered that you weren't quite prepared for? Amazingly how energy efficient the car is. We use about one kilowatt hour or less than 25 cents of electricity to do a shopping run when we need to do it once a fortnight. So that's just magnificent. We really, really enjoyed that. And also, it's just been a lovely experience to drive. Now, we have come from an old car, so we've got a 20-year changeover in car technology, but we've also found it's just been a great experience driving the electric car. It's nice and smooth and easy and feels comfortable to drive straight off the bat. Zero emissions, zero downside? Pretty well, as far as we're concerned. We've had absolutely no regrets about buying the car. So. We're looking forward to doing the travelling with the car. And there is absolutely no regrets. It's been, a, it's been not quite life-changing, but it's certainly been a very, very good experience for us. And if you'd like to find out more, join our webinar 7 to 8pm October the 1st, Australian Eastern Standard Time.